Good morning, grade three. Today we will complete talking about equivalent fractions. We took before how to get an equivalent fraction by the help of the drawing. So, what if we don't have drawings? What if we don't have the whole shapes drawn? How we should get the equivalent fraction without the help of the drawing? What if I have an example like this? 2 out of 4 and I want to get for it an equivalent fraction. So 2 out of 4 equals what out of 8? Let us think how we will do this. The rule says that to get an equivalent fraction, if we don't have drawings, we should multiply the numerator, which is the number of the shaded parts, and the denominator, which is the total number of equal parts that we cut the shape into it, of the given fraction, by the same number. We should multiply the numerator and the denominator of the given fraction by the same number. Or we should divide the numerator and the denominator of the given fraction by the same number. What does this mean and how we will do it? Let us see. The example here, two out of four equals what out of eight? Okay, the four became eight. Let us think, 4 multiplies by what gives 8? 4 multiplies by 2. So we multiply the 4 by 2 to become 8. How then we will get the missing number? Here we multiply the 4 by 2 to become 8. If I multiply the denominator by 2, so I should also multiply the numerator by 2. So I will make 2 times 2 then I will get that the missing number will be 4. 2 times 2 is 4. Now here we multiplied up and down by the same number. We multiplied up and down by 2 to get the missing number. Now the next example is 3 out of 9 equals what out of 3? Let us think. Here the 9 became 3. What happened to the 9 to be 3? Think with me. The 9 became 3. So, 9 divided by what equals 3? I should think. 9 divided by 3 equals 3. So, I divided the 9 by 3 to get 3 here in the other equivalent fraction. So, what should I do up? Yes, I should divide up also by 3. So I make here 9 divided by 3 gives me 3. And 3 should be divided also by 3. So the missing number here in the equivalent fraction will be 1. So we know that if we don't have shapes or drawings to get the equivalent fraction, we will check by the other rule, which is multiplying the numerator or the denominator by this and the denominator by the same number, or we divide up and down the numerator and the denominator by the same number. Hope that you got the point. Good luck.